Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to Night in the Woods. So let's keep on going here and see if we can get into some more of this um, investigation stuff that we have to do. Away message. Come pick your fight. Give arrows flight. You mess with me, you mess with all of us. Going to see the blank tones next week. Is that like a Deftones knockoff or something? <laughs> hey, kid. Snack falconing. Work, work, work. Till I die, die, die. Hello, May. Pickaxe. At it. Me. You know the drill. <laughs> Alright, I wonder if we can actually hang out with Angus today and do our possum jump investigation thing. Jeez. Feels like it's been years since I got back and saw this again. Also, I realized the other day that May's full name is Margaret. May is short for Margaret and I had no idea. Hey, bird. Things are like really intense right now. Pray to your bird gods for my soul, bird. Okay, let's go downstairs and say hello to mom. Good morning. There's my little sunshine daisy. Are you feeling any better from the other day? Sleeping a lot, but feeling worse. Okay, well, I'm going to make you an appointment with Dr. Hank. Oh, geez, Mom. It's fine. It is very much not fine, hun. I'm an adult. I can make that decision. When you're here, you're still my baby. And I'm making you an appointment. May, hun, I'm worried about you. I'm okay, Mom. Listen, I keep thinking about the money problems and the house and I'm just so sorry you we wouldn't be in this situation if I wasn't such a massive screw up I just want to fall into a pit and die right now nay it's okay really we'll figure something out this isn't on you to fix I'm sorry if I made it seem that way what's done is done and we're family together regardless Please stop worrying about it. Whatever happens, I love you. I need you to I need you to know that. You too. Sniff. Okay, I'm going to go. You sure you don't want to stay home and rest? No, nah, I got stuff to do. What is it you have to do? I don't even know, honestly. Oh, hon. Please take it easy. I will. Love you. Love you too. I keep the really good prescription headache meds on my nightstand. I can, like, give you half of one. Only half? Honey, you're, you know, very small. Short? Half would be fine. That's fine, Mom. Okay, let me know if I can be any help. Thanks, Mom. Alright, let's go outside. Really quick, actually. I want to look at something. Um, I guess I can't mess with anything. Um, you can only change the resolution. I was going to see if I can turn, like, V-Sync off or something, because there's a lot of screen tearing, I noticed. Alright, um, let's run around and do our usual thing, I guess. See who all can hang out. I need to talk to those musician guys. Oh, hey Molly. <laughs> Almost missed you there. Oh god. 
What do you want? Hello to you too, May. Well... I wanted to let you know... We ran a test on that arm you guys found a few days back. Oh, really? Yeah, thought you'd be interested is all. Definitely. Arm belonged to a middle-aged man. And medium build. And he was dead when it was removed. Whoa. That means... It doesn't mean anything yet. I just thought you'd like to know. You always liked detective stories when you were a kid. Okay, yeah. Thanks. This ghost is seriously messed up. Ghost? Wasn't no ghost involved in this, whatever it was. Yeah, yeah, nobody believes me, I get it. Be careful, May. Strange stuff going on. Yeah, you're telling me. Have a nice evening, May. Okay, well. So, dude was already dead whenever they removed the arm. Hey, Selmers. Jeez, May, are you sick? Nah. Just tired. Got a headache. Why are you out running around? I'll get over it. Yeesh. Take it easy, neighbor. Can do. Want to hear a new poem? Sure. The stars, the stars, like lights on cars, drive across the dark and never park. It's true, they are like that. I got one ready for longest night. Oh? Longest night. Longest night. Night so dark but stars so bright. Nice. Thanks. I'm feeling festive. You noticed anything, like, weird around here lately? Weird as in... Uh... Missing kids? I don't think so. Not recently, at least. That Casey kid last spring, but he weren't a kid no more. Maybe someone else, but from another town? I'm sure I'll remember. You know I asked that, but didn't expect you to know. I read the paper. Forecast is thinking snow soon. When? Soon. Gonna get cold soon. So she knows about Casey. Getting cold early this year. Don't bode well. Don't bode well for your old bones. Alright, let's go. Is there anything up here that I can look at? Gotta do my triple jump. Doesn't seem like there's anything. Alright. Let's keep on going into town. Oh, I don't hear the violin guy anymore. I guess I missed the opportunity to tell him to go hang out with that other dude. That's sad. I can't remember if I got the achievement for actually doing that. I think you get an achievement for it. Uh, but anyway, let's go to the church area. Maybe we can, like, apologize to Kate for being such a meanie last time. <laughs> May was like, what's the point of you if you have, like, days where you don't completely believe in God? Oh, I don't see her in here. All right, well, let's see if um, maybe she's outside. Maybe wondering where Bruce is. 
because he left. See, you can't resist coming here. That's God calling you. Oh, jeez. I'm betting not. God's patient, hun. Like nature. That is such a creepy statement. I find it comforting. I got this creeping dread thing going on, so just ignore me. Okay, hun. Can I do anything? Not really. Love you. What is it? I don't know. Purposely committing this theme to memory. Taking a brain photo? Haha, <laughs> yeah, like when I was a kid. Your dad was great with the games to keep you quiet in the car. He sure was. I still do it now. Snap. Got your picture. Snap, snap. Got yours, too. Love you, sweetie. You too, Mom. I'm so worn out. Why don't you go take a nap back in the library room? Oh, wow. I haven't been in the library room in years. It doesn't get a lot of use these days, but it's nice and quiet and peaceful. Okay, I might do that. Door back there is unlocked now, so have at it. I'll be out here. Thanks, Mom. No problem, sweetie. Alright, so we can go back here now. We can hang out in the library room. Oh, May's getting sleepy. She's eepy. Who's that? The granddad's ghost. Oh, he came to visit May. It's cool the granddad hangs out in the church. <laughs> this is super sweet. Love you, granddad. Miss ya. All right, let's go this way, see if we can find Kate anywhere. Unless she has the day off or something. Oh. We got statues of stern dudes for miles here in Possum Springs. Yeah, it looks like Bruce packed up and left. Oh, there's Kate. I wonder where Bruce has got to. Actually, I know. Really? Yeah, he told me not to, t to tell you yesterday. Tell me what, May? Bruce is going home. He... what? Yeah, he's going home to his kids. I guess they're all waiting for him. Oh. He seemed pretty happy about it. Okay. Thanks, May. Are you not happy about this? Thanks for letting me know. See, now I'm wondering... Because the more I think back on Bruce... And, like, the way he was saying that his kids are going to be waiting for him and his family's going to be waiting for him with signs and stuff. Like, at the beginning of Night in the Woods, when May got off the bus at the bus station, she was like, I'm not, a, I wasn't expecting, like, a welcoming party, but no one's here. Like, is his family and, like, kids, are they really going to be there waiting for him? Or was he meaning something else? Like, he's going home? Like, is he just gonna go off to die to be with his kids? Did they actually die or something? Like, And then Kate, she's like, oh, okay, well, like maybe she knows something that we don't. Like, maybe she knew 
Bruce's kids aren't actually around or something? Maybe he doesn't even have kids? I don't know. <laughs> sort of a mystery. But wherever Bruce is, I hope he's doing okay. Alright, let's go down into the tunnel. See if there's anybody down here. Oh, the fisherman guy is back. Will tunnel fish be always there? Will tunnel drain, canal be bare? I would miss the tunnel fish. To have them back would be my wish. Are they gonna drain the tunnel or something? No, it's poetry, okay? I'm just making stuff up. Please don't listen. He really does not like his poetry to be listened to. The only people he likes to recite his poetry to are the Possum Springs Poetry Society. So they never got around to cleaning this mess up. And nobody's down here, so... I'm gonna go back out the front entrance and see if we have anything else to do or anybody else to talk to. Looks like a lot of the, uh, like, minor characters are not around. It's really like nobody out on the streets right now. Alright, I don't want to go anywhere in particular. I need to get to the roofs and see if I can talk to anybody. First, let me talk to Angus. See if there's an option to hang out. So, I said I could, like, take you up to the park. You did indeed. I'm so tired. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I'll be fine. You up for this park trip? Not right now, but we will come back. Okay, so we can do the Angus hangout. Uh, let's get on the roofs, actually. Let's talk to the smelter bros. Go smelters! Well, that's it. Shipping out tomorrow. Can't believe you actually landed a new job. Yep, moving on to better things. The kids excited? Oh yeah, they'll love it. Might take a while. Heh. <laughs> Well, yep, yep, mm-hmm, maybe just one more, huh? Yeah, one more. Go smelters! <laughs> yep, those guys are cool, I like them. All right, let's uh, let's explore the roof. So he's moving on. He's getting out of town too. Very interesting. What's in the news? Birds flying south early this year. What does that mean? They know something we don't. Hmm. That's ominous. Alright, let's go up to the really high roof now. Doesn't seem like there's anybody up here. I guess we'll go see if that guy, the saxophone, whatever it was, guy. Oh, he's still here. Oh, they got together. Cool. Okay. Hey. Hey. Hello. You guys gonna play together? 
Yeah, haha. <clears throat> Thanks for making this happen, kid. Haha, <laughs> wow. Huh. What? I just realized that, like, I did something helpful. Like, I came up with a plan and did something good. Is that strange? I feel like I just stumble into things all the time. There's an airplane going by, sorry. <laughs> <clears throat> Introducing you two is like... I meant to help out two strangers, and I did. And now you're gonna play together. And fall in love. <laughs> what? No. I'm in a long-term monogamous relationship. I am not in the market. And my son takes up most of my attention. Oh. Did I make it weird? You made it weird. Very weird. Damn it. <laughs> Alright, well we got a new journal entry of them playing music together. You're so helpful, May, but you make things weird all the time. Alright, let's go see if Lori's hanging around. And well, you know what? Ah yeah, we'll go we'll go see if Lori's there first, and then And then we'll go see if Germ is hanging around back there. I forgot to check on old Lori. wonder if she wants to go down to the tracks and run over metal figurines with the trains. Such a weird hobby. Up we go. There she is, good old Lori. You okay? Yeah, I'm like only half here right now. I'm just tired. Are you sick or something? I don't even know anymore. You should get some cold medicine and some crackers and ginger ale and lay in bed and watch bad movies. I feel like that won't fix this one. One time I got pneumonia, and I had to go to school anyway. Isn't that contagious or something? I don't know. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Hmm, hmm. <laughs> May, uh, are you okay? Mm hmm. May. Uh, sorry, spaced out there for a sec. You should, like, see a doctor. I'll get around to it. Thanks. Uh, no problem. Alright, well, I'll probably see you later. Probably. Nothing certain, I guess. Okay. See ya. May, you're being very ominous. What's going on, man? Alright, let's go see if Germ is hanging out by the food donkey. <clears throat> I suppose we'll say hello to Greg along the way. Because Greg rules, okay? See a smelter bros. Hopefully old neck brace dude is okay without his friend since he's moving away. Hey man. Hey. How you holding up? Got a splitting headache. Feel like I've barely slept. 
Even though I've slept a lot. Jeez, you okay? I don't know. Can I do anything? <laughs> Wake me up somehow? Hey! Whoa. Wake up! Okay, yeah, I'm awake now. So, what are you up to today? Uh, we're just saying hey, because we're going to hang out with Angus today. <laughs> We've really given Greg the cold shoulder this playthrough. We haven't hung out with him or done anything with him once. God, this town is really infested with rats. They're like all over the streets. Alright. There's Germ. Hey, Germ. Hey, May. Totally what's up? Other than the obvious, you seem... something too. Do I look any different? To me, you do. Thanks for your attention. Do you want to come? Got a trampoline? <laughs> sure. All right, let's go. So we get to hang out with Germ. This is really weird. Why? I like... I never pictured you coming from somewhere... Or coming from somewhere. I thought you just like... Appeared one day in a parking lot. Oh. Sorry, that was weird. It's cool. A lot of folks come from town, never come back up here. Got a lot of cars. My uncles are here a lot. They fix cars with my dad. Do you drive? I bike. Better for the environment. I just keep finding things out about you. What? We're all gonna die from temperatures and water. Is this, uh, your tire? Nah, it's for my sisters and my cousins. You have sisters? Yeah, they're out at church stuff right now. That's why I invited you over. It's like adults night here. Adults night? One night a week. No kids. Uh, can we look at these cars? I guess not. Alright, let's go uh, hang out with Germ. He seems to have an extended family. Like a large family and stuff. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, you should meet my mom. Should I? It's polite since you're eating dinner here. I was kidding. I couldn't tell. You okay? I'm nervous. Why? Come on. <laughs> Maybe he doesn't have people over often. Hey, Mom. This is May. She's eating dinner with us. Uh, hi. Hello, May. I hope you like Sloppy Joes. Who doesn't? Nobody in this house. I thought you two should meet before dinner. That's very thoughtful, Jeremy. I'm going to introduce May to Grandma. Oh, is that what this is about? What? Can I? You don't need my permission. Whatever happens is on you. What? Come on. Nice meeting you. You too, May. Oh, here she is. Sturdy girl. Hmm. My granddad said that. 
Did you? This is Grandma. Hello. Mm-hmm. Okay, well, see ya. Wait, what? You're looking at me. Sturdy is a good word for you. Big bones. Stout. Yep. So, is that it? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I upset you? No. Too bad. You need to be upset. What's coming to you, little girl, is three times the trouble you deserve. You are going to go down hard. Not far from here. You will go down. In these woods. Are you, like, telling my fortune? Little girl, I don't know what you did. You've got a dark spot in you. That one day is going to take a life. Might be someone else's, or it might be yours. Mark my words. You are doomed. Okay, I'll uh, try to remember that. Or actually, no, this is stupid. You don't know me. Whatever it is that's wrong with me. Yeah, I'm not just an effing shell. For my problems to walk around in. Uh, uh, you got a dark spot on you. What the actual hell do you know about me anyway? I can't stop what's coming. But ask you a question you can't answer. Can you unhaunt a haunted house? I... I... what? Hehehe. <laughs> Had you going there for a second. What? I'm just joshing you. I have my fun. What is wrong with you? That was seriously messed up. Hee hee hee. You're a good sport. You go outside now, dear. Let Grandma watch Judge Janice. Okay, uh, see you around. Not likely. Little girl. Goodbye. <laughs> I thought she was going to say more. Don't tell me what Grandma said. Why? When Grandma tells you something for you, it's yours, and if you give it away, it's gone. What does that mean? Watch this. Holy crap. Come on. It's trampoline time. Boom. So yeah, let's just forget about all that weird stuff that Grandma just said to May and jump on the trampoline. <laughs> hey, there's a familiar face. What? I've seen you a whole bunch. I don't... I'm invisible. Don't let him spook ya. He's been working on your street. Department of Transportation. You don't see us, but we see you. Oh yeah, hi. Thanks for uh, fixing our street. Yep, yep. Weren't nothing. Yeah, he's been doing the easy work. My crew's been out climbing all over those bridges in Saltstown. Oh, they open yet? Hell no. That'll be the day. You're Stan Borowski's kid, right? Yeah. We used to see him down at Miller's a bunch. Probably good we see him less now. Yeah. He didn't mean nothing by it. 
It's cool. Back when, your dad was something else. He's up at Ham Panther now, right? Yeah. They're pretty anti-union, huh? Yeah, he's mentioned that. Hmm. Yep, yep. Your dad's alright, kid. Okay. Yeah, he's good. How do you know my dad? I don't. I just felt left out of the conversation. You tell him Ham Panther management can go straight to hell. Okay, that's, uh, weird. Ain't nothing weird about it. Jeremy, we going out to Hunwick this weekend? Yeah. What's in Hunwick? Old computer show. Gonna look for an old Compidon 80. Play some Wanderers of Clorgan. Bunch of dweebs over here. Yep, yep. Okay, well, if I bounce anymore, I'm gonna puke. No need to keep bouncing. I'm not gonna be lonely. Alright. So, like, why... Dinner. Hold that thought. That was really good. Glad you liked Sloppy Joes. Who doesn't? What were you going to say before dinner? Oh yeah. Weird to ask, but... Why did you invite me up here? I don't think even Greg's been up here. Nah. Greg's cool, but like... Greg's got things pretty much figured out. Yeah, Greg's the best. Like, it seems like you've been having a hard time lately. And I thought you'd like to just, like, chill. Chill for a bit. Everybody else is, like, going somewhere. Or wishes they were. But you're just, like, not. I don't know. Yeah. Thanks for dinner. Thank my mom. No, just... Thanks. I... I've had a really long fall. I know. <laughs> Glad you like Sloppy Joes. I know how you like them sloppy. Who doesn't? Gotta go now. Bye. Germ's spooky grandma. Germ's got a whole family. Delicious. Germ. A good guy. <laughs> Alright. So Germ lives up there, like, close to where the ghost made his escape from Harfest after kidnapping that kid. And Grandma's saying that we got some stuff coming to us and that we're doomed. But then she was like, I'm just joking with you. But I don't know, she seemed to know a little bit too much about us. Like a little, a little bit too much nuanced stuff that Granddad used to say about May and stuff like that. So that was... She was a spooky grandma. <laughs> Alright, let's go in here and commence um, Operation Hangout with Angus or whatever. Alright. Are you up for this park trip? Yeah. I'm excited. Are you? Yeah, we never get to hang out. Ghost hunting with Angus. So you think the guy you saw was a ghost? Not a guy, a ghost. Right. Why does no one believe me that, th that it was a ghost? Well, I mean, ghosts don't actually exist. I'm pretty sure they do. 
Well, I need evidence. What counts? A ghost walking up and saying hello? And me saying, hey, I've verified you are a dead person. Could be a zombie or a Frankenstein. Or maybe if they're made of ghostly stuff. Ghosty stuff can be our podcast about ghosts. This episode of Ghosty Stuff brought to you by Donut Wolf. Welcome to Ghosty Stuff. I'm May, and I saw ghosts. And this is Angus, who doesn't believe me. I'm Angus, and this is May. She's a crazy person. <laughs> Shots fired. Nice evening. Yeah, it's alright. My mom used to take us up here to play frisbee. I got hit in the teeth with a frisbee once, full speed. Jeez. Casey and me were throwing things at each other's heads. Oh. Uh, we stopped after the frisbee. All right. <clears throat> so this is Angus's car. And we're in the, what is this, the park? Posted. Do not feed or touch the wildlife. Well, that seems extreme. I don't know. You can't go to the woods to, like, socialize with the woods, I guess. There's some folks living in cabins up here. You can, uh, feed and touch them if you want. <laughs> it's, it's a weird old place up here. There's all kind of stuff weird, or all kind of weird stuff back up in the park. Old stuff just hanging out in the woods. We'll hit my old scout camp on the way up, I think. Busy woods. Okay, better get going before it gets dark. Let's go. Hanging out with Angus. Can I go up there? <laughs> Hurry up, slow poke. For such a short person, I'm faster than you. What is this? Some kind of chimney? Ugh. Ugh. You alright? Yeah, I got asthma is all. Sorry you gotta wait for me. Now I feel bad for making fun of him. Didn't you run cross-country back in junior high? Yeah, but I never finished a race. Why do you keep doing it? I have no idea. What is this thing? This is like... a lime kiln, I think. Limes? Limestone. You, like, do something with it in there? And it becomes this other thing? Oh. Limestone's weird because it's mostly made of skeletons of sea creatures from millions of years ago. So, like, this was all underwater or something at one point. For such a sciencey guy, you're very vague, Angus. Whoa. I know, right? Or maybe he's just saying stuff like that to so that May understands it. <laughs> like, right where we're standing. There were like ancient horrible sea monsters. Creepy and awesome. That's history. Okay, I'm ready to go. Race you to the top, asthma boy. <laughs> it's another kiln. 
Ugh. Ugh. Phew. Need to take a break? I'm okay. I'm okay. No prob. Ugh. Ugh. So, if this place was underwater... Why aren't there, like, ancient shark bones up here? I don't know. There might be, I guess. But not everything becomes a fossil. Why? I don't know. I'm not an expert on any of this. But there were definitely ancient sharks around here. Weird, because things are so boring nowadays. To think, like, all that crazy stuff was going on here... There's always more weird stuff that happened to find out about later. Okay, I'm ready to go. Cool, cool. Uh, oof, oof. Wheeze. <laughs> Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. <sighs> Sorry. Huh. Seriously, it's fine. Hang for a minute. Okay. I should know all this stuff about, like, ancient sea creature rock or whatever. Lime. Huh. Stone. <laughs> Angus is just dying. I was gonna take a class on dinosaurs back at school. What happened? It was all full up. That class fills up fast. I bet. Dinosaurs are like the most interesting animals. You knew they had feathers? Or some of them? I know, right? Big freaky chickens. Things were so scary and cool back then. We'd die in like five minutes, haha. <laughs> oh yeah, ancient creatures would eat us, no problem. Be glad for the millions of years between us. Weird. Time, dude. Time makes most dangerous things less dangerous. Most things, at least. Okay, you ready to roll? Yeah, we're almost to the top. <clears throat> Ooh, it's dark and spooky now. Well, that was a hike. That was a lot easier when I was 11. We passed, what, three gates on the way up here? I lost count. Weird. It used to be open back then. Hmm. Ready to go? Not far now, just up ahead. Graves, huh? Yeah, these were... I forget. They were involved in the Possum Massacre. That, like, labor strike thing. Where it was like the Miners versus National Guard. Happened back in town like a hundred years ago. Why are they up here? I think these were some of the bad guys. And some of the miners. Didn't want them buried in town. Oh. Huh. There's like a few old graveyards up here from like... Colonial times. I guess there's one up here somewhere too. Well... That's spooky. And eh, just bones. Ancient shark bones. Yeah, see? Nothing left to be scary. <laughs> Ooh, this is cozy. Wow, we're up really high, and really far out. 
I can't see town from here. It's south of us, behind whatever ridge that is. So what, are we just supposed to wait here and see if anything happens? <laughs> you tell me. You're the expert. I guess we'll just wait here and see if anything happens. It's a nice night. Yeah. Back at school, I couldn't see as many stars. That always made me sad. Oh yeah, they're really nice up here. I wish I knew the constellations like you did. What? You know all the names and the stories and stuff. I wish. I can never remember them other than... I think that one up there is like a bell or something? No, 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 no. Remember that time we were all at that longest night bonfire? And we spotted the constellations together? And he told us all about them? That's not a thing that happened. Oh wow. Maybe it was like a dream or something? Okay, so... There is like a prologue to Night in the Woods called Longest Night. And I think that's what this is referencing, but I guess that never actually happened. Interesting. God, I barely remember now. I wonder what fake constellations and stories you dreamed up. Okay, humor me. I'll find the constellations. You tell me about them. Okay, then. Alright, find me some constellations. Wait, are these going to be real ones or fake ones? Just ones I remember. Or dreamed that one time. Ugh. Whichever. Remember Mr. Chazikov? Yeah, science teacher. He lives in Underhill and has a telescope on his roof. And I totally saw some stars through it. That's cool. Telescopes are cool. I wish I had a telescope. Okay, let's see. So we have to make our own constellations? Oh, I guess it'll do it if you get it right. That didn't work? Uh, is there another one, like, up here? Yeah, okay. Do I keep... or do I need to, like, connect it? Yeah, okay. It's a Pope. He breathes fire. Oh, this one is real. Or at least the dude is. Rubello. There's a statue of him outside church. Oh, uh, we never went there. Did your family go to church? Weddings and funerals and longest night, basically. I don't think those first two count. Those are like events. My mom works up at the church now. I haven't gone really since I was like 14 or 15. Does she mind? She pretends not to. Alright, this looks like a constellation. It's a cat. He's got arrows sticking out of him. And he's chasing a diamond. Oh, I know this one. Don't remember his name. He lived, uh... You remember the stories about the forest god? Yeah. My granddad used to tell me Adina stories. Oh, okay, yeah. Anyway, this cat was in there. 
liked shiny things, was good at getting through the forest, was really good at stealing. Oh wow, I used to call him Ass Cat when I was little. <laughs> well, then he stole a diamond from a king and got arrowed to death. But he was slick enough that he jumped out of his body and became immortal or something. Huh, <laughs> decent. Extremely decent. Alright, let's try this. It's gonna be a big one. Oh, it didn't work. Maybe like this? No? Am I missing something over here? That's weird. Uh, let's try this. <laughs> this one's hard. What the heck, man? Oh, it's a whale. And it's got like a world on its back. Oh wow, that's sad. Why? Why does it have to carry the whole world? Like, that's really unfair. Haha, <laughs> yeah. That is legitimately upsetting. You gotta wonder why people made these up. I mean, like, these specifically. Who saw a whale and was like, needs to be carrying something? They didn't know what the earth was? Yeah, but like... I don't assume everything I don't understand is a whale. <laughs> you could start. <clears throat> Alright, I guess this is just a triangle. Okay, that's a bell. And in the middle is... Uh, is this eye. Looking at you. Okay, that's uh... I know this one a little from like, prog rock album covers. I think you die when it rings, when it's looking at you? Well, crap. It's high up enough, it's kinda always looking at all of us, right? Goddamn. We're like way out here, huh? In the park? Yeah, I guess. Spooky. I don't know, it's pretty safe. And the stars are pretty. So you don't believe in ghosts at all? Nah, don't believe in ghosts or gods. Or psychic powers, or anything like that. Not at all? I mean, there's no evidence for them. And people have really tried. Did you ever? Yeah, when I was a kid. Tell me about it. So, um... I don't know how much I've ever told you. Or how much Greg has told you. But I didn't have the best childhood. Yeah, I think I heard that. Why was it bad? Um, my dad didn't like me. And my mom didn't either. And like, um... You don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, it's fine. Um, my dad used to hit me a lot, and my mom was probably worse. She like wouldn't feed me, which is why I really like cooking now. <laughs> She'd like shove me into the pantry and slam the door really hard, and all the stuff would fall off the shelves on top of me. Oh my god, Angus. I didn't know all that. 
That's awful. She'd lock me in there for like a day at a time sometimes. Or overnight. So I'd like try to develop psychic powers so I could like signal the neighbors or unlatch the door. Didn't work as you might guess. Did you ever tell anybody? I never did. I don't know why. After a while, I like started feeling guilty too for some reason. Like this was something bad I was doing. Like being abused. Angus, that's not your fault at all. You were a kid. Ah, don't worry. I know that now. Boy, do I ever. Question, can I go kick all their asses? Like, I've got experience. I can F some shit up. Well, my mom is kind of old now. I, uh, still have to visit her sometimes. I have a brother. He's overseas in the army. And my dad left like 10 years ago. So who knows where he is or if he's even alive. If he is alive, I don't want to know about it. Angus, I just want to give you a hug forever. <laughs> well, I was luckier than a lot of kids. I'm just glad I didn't like, yeah. Anyway, to your original question. <clears throat> Testing out my psychic abilities in the pantry made me really interested in both paranormal stuff and science. And I joined a skeptic society on the internet and that kind of ruined me on a lot of other supernatural bullshit. And it gave me something to solve. Something you could debunk or know. I don't know. It saved me a little bit, I guess. Because when someone does all that stuff to you, it can, like, make you do some bad things to yourself. But anyway, yeah. No ghosts or God. So, like... I feel like if I'd been through that... I'd be more likely to want to believe in God or something. Do you believe in anything at all? Um, well, so like the constellations? I don't believe there's a whale out there. But I do, but I uh, believe that the stars exist. And that people put the whale there. Like, I don't know. We're good at drawing lines through the spaces between stars, like we're pattern, pattern finders and we'll find patterns. And we like really put our hearts and minds into it, and even if we don't mean to. So I, don't, uh, so I believe in a universe that doesn't care, and people who do. Pattern finders. I feel like a lot of people don't think they found God but like God found them like when they were having bad times like you did God never did I was completely alone in the pantry but a few years later Greg did so like the stars can stay up there and not give a shit about us but this whale is pretty cool you're an extremely good and smart person Angus I try, but I'm no more than anyone else. Yep. Yep. I should come out here more often. Haha. <laughs> yeah. Don't look at him. Oh, I didn't even notice him over there. <laughs> Who? There's someone standing behind us in the trees holy shit holy shit what do they look like tall wearing some kind of weird coat like a utility coat or something oh god that's the ghost I'm more worried about it being a living person standing in the woods staring at us oh god oh god well, don't panic. Follow my lead. 
Hey there. Out for a hike? Nice night. He's not answering. That's a little hostile, right? That's definitely a little hostile. Hey! I know what you did. May, no. I saw you. Okay, well, we're gonna run now. We need to get to the car. But your asthma. I got an inhaler. The good kind, too. No one in heaven or earth can stop me. Okay, 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 let's go. Deep breaths. In. Out. Alright. <laughs> Dang, so... Ghost guy creeped up on us, man. Whoa, he's fast. <laughs> Wheeze. Wheeze. You okay, big guy? Yeah, I'll be okay in a few minutes. I'm resilient. So that was it. That was the ghost. Or it was uh, some weirdo who lives out there. They probably get lots of kids throwing parties back there. I mean, the party we went to where you threw up. Ugh. That wasn't too far from up there. Why does no... Whoa. wrong do you need me to pull over oh my head jeez oh okay well let's get you home no need to talk to everyone tonight what all of us I need all of us may is not okay <laughs> Thanks for, like, coming. Again, we live here. Yeah, you're in my living room. I'll accept the thanks. So, like, do you have an idea of what's going on? There's a ghost that's in my head? Like, the night after I saw the kidnapping? Or, I think it was a kidnapping. I had this dream I barely remember. Except for this sound. This horrible sound. And this feeling. Like, I keep hearing it whenever the ghost gets nearby. And it's like someone rips open a hole in my brain. I know you guys don't believe me. It's not that I don't believe that something's happening with you. I just don't know that it's a ghost. Yeah, dude. There are like 50 better explanations for all of this. Like what? You have like sudden stress migraines and you saw something that freaked you out and makes you stress out. I get migraines. And May, you've gone through a lot of life changes recently. And, I don't know, stress does weird things to people. Okay, fine. Fine. Whatever. I'm going up into the woods. I know this thing is up there. I know what I saw. And if you don't believe me, that's fine. I'll go alone. You're really going to hike up past the basketball court? It's late, dude. 
What do you all care? You don't believe me anyway. I'll go. Huh? Listen, I don't believe in ghosts, but I believe in you. Aw, dude. So let's go find your ghost. I was fixing to say something like that, but you said it better. Aw, you guys. It's not even ghost hunting season. Yeah, it's Buck. We're outlaws. Uh, thank you. For believing me. Mostly I just don't want you wandering around up there. Alone. At night. Close enough. Alright. Let's hunt some ghosts. Haven't been on a night hike in a long time. Gotta listen for owls. Why? Owls are cool. Alright. I got work in the morning. Let's go catch us a ghost. Alright. So, that's interesting. Um, I guess you can only choose to do two of the three uh, characters like investigation missions and we chose B and Angus so we're pretty much at like the like next part of what's gonna happen in this game um, we're about to go confront whatever it is that May is going through and uh, I suppose we will do that on the next episode so as always thank you for watching my night in the woods videos and I will see you on the next one Goodbye.